Welcome back to the channel. Now today I want to attempt to build a vehicle that can climb up these buildings. The only problem is that these buildings tend to be very destructible and very fragile. So I don't know if they're going to be able to support the weight of a vehicle trying to grab onto them and um, climb and lift them themselves up. Oh my... All right, I think I broke the game already. <laughs> Imagine if that happens while I'm trying to climb the building. <laughs> um, can I reset? There we go, okay. All right, game's not broken, didn't crash, I think we're safe. Was not expecting that. So there's gonna be a couple of really interesting obstacles to this. I mean, the first one I highlighted was uh, the building's destruct, so I think one of the things I'm going to have to do is uh, turn tough structures on. Now, this means that the buildings will be harder to collapse and destroy but um, they are not immune to that. So you can see, we're definitely gonna be better off with this, uh, with these settings. But still, as you can see, I can keep going through here and the building will eventually fall over if enough damage is done to it in the right areas. Now, the other obstacle to this is that uh, this game lacks any type of robust programmability in the controls, so it's pretty much all going to be manually controlled for every, like, grabber that I want to uh, have on this thing. Because although we can set whatever controls we want, it's really limited when it comes to automation of those controls, so I'm really not going to be able to make this uh, an easy one button goes up, one button goes down type of build. It's going to be like I'm doing it all myself. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a fresh slate here because I'm probably going to want to be as light as possible. Only necessary parts for climbing. All right, so, so here's our starting baseline here. Let me see what the dimensions feel like compared to this building. Uh, getting over these lips is going to be a challenge probably. Oops, sorry, broke that window there. I could take the easy route and put like downwards thrust on this thing and then drive up the building, but that's not the point. I wanna, I wanna make an actual building climber, not just a wall rider. So that means I'm going to be using the attacher block here because this thing with the push of a button this thing allows us to just straight up grab onto whatever it comes in contact with and it pretty much i think it has infinite grip like it's just it's not gonna let go once it grabs and see that right there is not good just the mere act of grabbing the concrete part oh see it I don't know how this is gonna go because the even in tough structures mode like okay there we go all right so there's a there's a difference between having it open and then grabbing on versus being against it and pressing the grab button which then makes my vehicle jolt which also causes some destruction so useful bit of useful bit of information by doing that test there but yeah as you can see Oh boy, it does grab pretty strong onto the building. So now I gotta do this like Mission Impossible style where I like grab onto the side of the building and claw my way up it somehow. So what kind of mechanisms do I have at my just this sliding rail? I don't think I've ever used this part before, but I'm pretty sure the sliding rail might be exactly what I'm looking. Can you get this out of the way, please? I can't see what I'm doing here. There we go. All right, uh, up and down. Let's go ahead and see here. And I can attach an attacher block to the end of that. So now, whoa, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. A little bit front heavy now, but you can see I can move that up and down. Here, let me drive over to the building and see how this feels. But don't worry, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. There we go, attach that. And then look at that, I'm already kind of climbing. This is gonna be a night, this is not gonna work out very well, I don't think. Oh no, I'm gonna need a building that is more metallic, uh, more structurally sound than this, maybe. I don't know, this is tough. I think putting a couple of them on the outside like this is gonna be ideal here. All right, so now with two of them, let's see how this feels. Okay, uh, one of them's already completely disconnected. I forgot I gotta, I gotta activate them. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know how this is ever gonna work. Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, now I'm not really pulling myself up because I've already destroyed part of the building. I need to make this thing more structurally stable as well. But the more weight I add to this thing, then the more I'm just gonna... Oh, no. The more I'm just gonna rip the buildings apart as well, I think. All right, lift that up. Grab on with both. There we go. Now both are grabbed on. 
Then I can lift up. Okay, so that works. It's holding me. That's not bad. I think I'm gonna need to implement a method where these grabbers are able to lift off of the building and approach the building separately from the grabbing button. So I'm gonna use these pistons here. We'll put them super slow as well. Uh, so now I can actually extend into the wall. Oh no, I gotta redo my controls. All right, oh my god, this thing is such a pathetic little... <laughs> it's so bad at driving on the ground. All right, so now as I get close to the building, I have the option to engage the... Oh, no, no, not yet. Not yet. Engage the attachers and then extend forward like that. And then... Um, I don't know yet. This is confusing. So then once I detach them, then I would bring these back. This is going to be such a confusing manually controlled there's so many buttons i'm gonna have to press one after another in the right order for this to work all right you know what i'm just gonna give myself some bigger tracks here okay so now i'm adding a second set of these attachers here now the issue is i'm gonna need these sliders to actually work independently of each other so i'm really gonna be using my keyboard for all it's worth here all right there we go now theoretically this should be capable of climbing it. It might be the wonkiest thing ever, but let me test out my controls here. Oh, no, 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 man. I got to make it more back heavy. I don't want to add more weight to the back, though, but I got to. This is a little bit better. Okay, so I have these buttons to independently control these things. Oh, man, this is going to be a nightmare. And then I can move that forward and back with that. I can move these forward and back with that. And then how do I do? Oh, yeah, so now I have those. And these, so I can move these ones independently from each other. This is gonna, this is such a nightmare. Let's see if I can pull it off. Let's see if I can actually get this thing to climb upwards. Uh, no, please stop with that. All right, I've added even more weight to the back and it's still front heavy, it feels like. Okay. Well, let's see what happens here. Um, so, what do I do first? All right, I put those ones out first. So now I think I press, uh, two to make it go forward. There we go. All right, there's that. So now I pull myself up. Okay, that's a problem. I'm so back heavy now. I see what I need to do. See, the problem is uh, there's just one point of connection here, which means I can pivot about that. So that's not gonna keep me in a level uh, plane with the building. And that's gonna make it impossible for me to get the next set of these to attach. So I actually need to attach two sets of these per uh, slider. So the way this works is I got one there and one there. So now these two are gonna move together and then these two are gonna move together. I just hope I can grab onto that surface. Oh no, I'm grabbing onto the bottom surface instead of the top. Oh, there we go. I forgot I needed to, I needed to um, extend these a little bit. All right, well, let's see what happens if I try to bring myself up. See, there we go. Now we are in line with this thing. Okay, I wish they had more range. Okay, so now I need to activate the other set. That was the wrong, that was the exact wrong button. <laughs> all right, I think I've destroyed all of my attachment points there. Let's go over to this other building. All right, let's lift these up. Extend them. I need to attach all four. There we go. Okay, that's good. Now I can lift myself up. Come on, stay attached. There we go. Okay, so now F. Yes, and then extend. How do I extend those ones? No, I don't know how to extend these ones. Oh yeah, Q and E. There we go. All right, now I gotta detach the other ones. Bring them back. Oh, the building fell apart. Oh man, this is so difficult. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I, what I need to do, I need to uh, not have more weight. This is a bad way to uh, prevent myself from tipping forward. I'm going to have a piston. I'm just gonna put an adjustable little wheel on this. There we go, so now that wheel is gonna prevent me from tipping over. And then when I get to the building, I can bring it back in and that shouldn't interfere because the, uh, the pistons can extend past the wheel. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Okay, now let's see how this feels. No, they're not all attached, are they? Dang it. <laughs> I need to raise these up a little bit to get a better starting point. All right, come on. Pull myself up. That's something. That is something. Okay, now extend the other ones forward, but how? What's the button? Hold on, gotta do uh, F, there we go. Now extend them forward. 
Oh, the top ones aren't attached. That's not good. If the top ones aren't attached. All right, well, then I got to let go of the bottom ones. Yeah, see, the top ones didn't attach, so then we pivoted down. This is going to be way harder than I was expecting. I know this is a bad idea because glass is probably the weakest out of all the materials, but this is such a, just a flat side of a building. I really want to try it. There we go. All right, I think I got them all attached now. All right, let's pull up. Oh, that one wasn't even attached. How is this? No! <laughs> okay, I knew the glass was a bad idea. I don't even know why I decided to try that. Man, these buildings just do not want to be climbed. But that is not gonna stop me from trying. Yeah, all the glass just broke. This building is so much easier to attach to. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so now I think R is the next one. Or is it F? I don't remember. F. There we go. That button. Oh, no. All right, now I press R to disconnect those and retract these ones. All right, and then pull myself up. Oh, we're doing it. Okay, we've taken like one step. We do have an issue where we are leaning back slightly now because this one is not attached. So I think that's going to keep translating through and getting worse and worse. But now I need to raise these ones up and I don't remember. Uh, there we go. There we go. Shift to raise those ones up. I probably could have made my control scheme better. R. Yes. Okay, then extend these out and retract the other ones. Oh, no. See, now the top ones aren't being grabbed onto anymore. All right. And then pull myself up. <laughs> and we pulled the building apart. All right. I got an idea for a completely different method, but I saved this vehicle uh, just so that we don't lose any progress on this thing. So I'm going to try to do a wheel type method. I don't know how practical this is, but the fact that we can pivot around a single attachment point makes me think if I just have a bunch of spiky wheels pointing out, as I pivot around, I can get the next wheel to attach, activate that one, deactivate the previous, and then kind of just wheel myself up the building with attachment blocks. I think this might be more likely to be more destructive to the building though, as we kind of like torque against the, um, the attachment blocks. But yeah, I just don't know. So I think the best way to do this is to just have these things be on a number. So we're gonna have one, two, three, and four. So each number I press is going to activate the next one. So there we go. Now these spin. And then as you can see, I can activate and deactivate them one at a time. So uh, let's see how this feels. This building is going to be the easiest one to do. So I got one activated. So that one is uh, extended. There we go. So now I'll activate number two and then start rotating the wheel. There we go. Deactivate number one. Activate number three. This is actually kind of working. It was... <laughs> This was way simpler than my other idea. Oh no, that one wasn't attached. That's bad. Okay. Ooh, you know what? If I have independent control of these, I could theoretically turn. So now if one ever gets offset from the other, I now have independent control of them. So there's one, there's the other. So now I can press shift to move that one up and R to move this one up. So let's go ahead and activate them. We'll move them both at the same time. Oh, that was aggressive. That was way more aggressive than it should have been. Deactivate number one. Activate number three. All right. Move them both. Oh, this is bad. Why is it so bad right now? Here's what we need. We need this free spinning wheel to be able to ride against the building as we lift ourselves up. Because I think these tank tracks were just carving into the building. And you know what? These should actually be on suspension. All right. There we go. New build. There we go. These might be a little bit too far ahead, but let's see what happens. Number two active. Okay. This wheel is not being as uh, soft as I wanted it to be. All right. Detach number one. There we go. Activate number three. Let's start rolling up. Oh, what happened? We need to make ourselves lighter. There we go. We're a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact. Okay, here we go. Nice and gentle. He says as everything starts falling apart around him. All right, let go of that. Go up. Good. Good. All right, one at a time, one at a time. There we go. Let go of number two. 
I mean, we're tearing out the whole middle of the building, but the wheels on the side are pulling it off. There's number four. There's that side. There's that side. Okay, okay, okay. Release number three. Stay on, stay on there, stay on there. Okay, now we go back to number one. Here we go. I cannot believe I'm still on this building. What is going on? Release number four. Activate number two. I mean, now I'm at a point where I'm wider than the building, so I don't even think there's anything I can do here. Um, number three gets active. Number two gets deactivated. <laughs> we finally fell down. That was crazy. That was by far the most successful though. I don't know what made that one more successful. While we're here, let's go ahead and try this building again then. Okay, here we go. They're both attached. All right, gentle. Maybe I should make this even slower. There we go. Now I will release uh, number, number one. Oh, that's not good. All right, that means I'm gonna focus on this one over here. Number three. Oh, come on. Get that one attached. There we go. Now let's do the other one. There we go. Release number two. Activate number four. Let's do the right one first. All right, now they're kind of in line with each other. There we go. There we go. Uh, that was number four, so release number three. Activate number one. I'm actually doing this. I'm actually doing this. Yes. There we go. Okay, I gotta get screenshots of this while I have it, because I don't know if I'll ever get back here. All right, now what am I doing here? Release number four. Yes. Okay, good. No! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it's attached, it's attached. Oh no, this is, this might be bad. Press number, uh, two. Oh no, this is really bad. This is really bad. So the issue is I have independent rotational control over the left and right wheels, but I don't have independent grabber control. So these are on different grabbers right now, which is really bad. All right, I'm activating number three. Oh, wrong one, wrong one. All right, come on. Oh, and we fell down. But I grabbed the top of that building. That had to have counted for something, right? <laughs> well, this just may be the best <laughs> that I can pull off right now with the time that I have to make this video today. <laughs> we managed to get up to here. We managed to get up to here. Getting over these lips is just a nightmare, but um, I mean, this seems like there's more potential for this. If you guys have any other ideas on um, how this could be done a little bit better using grabbers, uh, let me know down in the comments below and maybe I'll look for something on the workshop. I don't know if anyone else has done this. But yeah, if you want to see some more stuff on the channel, let me know down in the comments below what you'd like to see. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.